YouTube, what's happening? It's your guy Hitch. I hope you're all doing well. A little over a year ago, Teddy Santis from the ALD team announced that he was going to be taking on a new role for New Balance as their creative director for the Made in USA division, which was great news when it came out. And finally, we're seeing what that means. On April 28th, they released their first collection with him in that role, and it included three sneakers, all 990s. You had the V1s, the V2s, and the V3s. All of their colorways were being inspired by the 996. Now, me personally, I do not like the V1s, and historically, I haven't been the biggest fan of the V3s, but if you're a subscriber to this channel, you know I love the V2s, and I was able to pick these up through newbalance.com, and of course, they did not miss. New Balance is well known for the great tones that they use on their sneakers and Teddy stay true to that tradition with these 990 V2s as the hairy suede overlay is finished in a gray tone that they're calling Marblehead. Now that hairy suede is extremely soft but it also has a vintage worn look to it that I do like and if you thought this colorway was going to include only one gray tone you're wrong. On the toe box there's a pig suede overlay that's finished in a darker gray and even though there's not a lot of material there I can promise you it is quality material and it's soft and the first material that they use for these uppers is the moss green soft mesh material that it covers the toe box the mid panels as well as the heel collars now as far as the last soft pig suede overlay that they use on these it's going to be this tan material that they're calling incense it's on the back heel area and you gotta love when you rub your fingers across the materials and you can see the materials moving always a great sign letting you know that you got some good stuff the final details on these uppers include some of my favorite materials and that is 3m teddy used a 3m accent behind the toe box on both end logos on the lateral and medial sides and lastly on the back heel where it says usa just do it, just do it, just do it, cause they telling me a K. Cause they telling me a K, let's not. How to shed my tears, only right, I laugh to the bank. Laugh to the bank. Fuck you. Same thing in the peace out, peace out. Peace out. Peace out. So they use the moss green soft mesh again to make up the tongue with the darker grade pig suede as the overlay and stitched into that overlay. It says 990 New Balance, made in USA with the end logo below it but what I love with what they did with the tongue is that they use the same exact materials from the uppers on the tongue so we're not short changed there at all always good to see that and these V2s are going to come with the flat white laces in them and you get the additional sail flat laces as an option on the inside they're using a white cotton type material as inside lining which I'm not a huge fan of always hard to keep clean and they look dingy after a while but if you're going for that worn look, then they hit the nail right on the head. And down at the bottom is the incense insoles with the navy blue text and New Balance logo. They finalize the vintage worn look on these V2s by using a sail absorb midsole that does have great accents on the heel area and 
a black outsole that have gray accents, white New Balance text, and the white New Balance accent with the N logo in the midfoot area. With all the success he's had and great work he's done with the AOD brand, I don't think anybody is surprised that Teddy Sanchez delivered with his first collection from New Balance as a creative director. He upheld tradition, giving us two different gray tones in the uppers, giving us two different suede finishes with the hairy suede just being a complete standout. So on a scale of one to five, I'm giving these a four. Also note, they are true to size and they have the traditional New Balance comfort. Most importantly, they didn't hit us over the head. The retail on these were 195 and they happen to sell out. So if you do want a pair, I would recommend copping now before that resale value skyrockets. Right now it's only about 20 to $30 over resale. Now, I told you before, I've never been the biggest fan of the V3s, but I'm open to them. And I was hoping to get a pair. So luckily for me and for you, there are gonna be about 13 more sneakers to drop throughout this entire Teddy collection. So I'm hoping I can grab at least two more V2s and hopefully a pair of V3s. Most importantly, what do you guys think about this collection? And are there any particular colorways that you're looking for out of the collection? Or, and I've been asking this for a while, is New Balance finally getting your attention? Hit the comments, let me know. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to my channel. I'm out.